Hi everyone, my name is Emily and welcome to the last day of the seven day beginners yoga challenge. I hope you're feeling a little more comfortable with yoga and maybe you're even planning on continuing doing yoga classes after this challenge. I really hope so. Today's video is all about posture. So we're going to really focus on poses to open up our chest, really lengthen our spine so we can improve our posture both on our yoga mat and off the mat in our day-to-day -day life. I'm going to be doing a lot more yoga videos and hopefully some more challenges really soon. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on those. We're going to start today's class lying on our backs. So just relax here on your back and bring the soles of your feet to the mat. So bending the knees and just reach down, seeing if you can touch your heels. So if you can't, maybe walking your heels a little closer. So just so to get closer towards your hips. We're going to bring our palms to our thighs and we're going to start to move with our breath here. So on our inhale, we're going to begin to lift the hips up, reach the arms up and back overhead. Then on our exhale, begin to lower the hips. So nice and slowly, and at the same time, draw your hands back to your thighs. We'll continue with this motion. So pressing into the feet, inhaling to lift the hips, arms come back. Exhale, slowly lower down, draw your hands back to your thighs. Let's do this three more times, moving with your breath. Trying to let each movement last for the duration of that inhale or exhale. And release your lower back to the mat. Draw your knees back in towards your chest. Then we're gonna take our knees wide. So we're gonna make some big circles with those knees. So drawing them out and then together. Big circles, just loosening up through the hips. And then maybe go in the opposite direction. Okay, bringing your knees back together. Bring one arm overhead and then roll onto that side. Just rolling onto that side, coming into the fetal position, maybe closing your eyes for a couple breaths. Checking in with your body, notice how you're feeling today. And then begin to come into our tabletop. I'm just gonna come around here so I'm facing this way. So spread those fingers nice and wide, pressing your full hand into the mat. Knees are hip width apart. And we're gonna do some nice slow cat and cows today. So take your inhale as your belly drops, your chest comes forward, shoulders come back, and just begin to gaze forward. You might just be to the, looking down to the floor in front of your mat. Take some breaths here and then exhale. Slowly start to round through the spine. Relax your head down, draw your chin down towards your chest. Big inhale, drop the belly, shoulders come back, chest forward. And exhale, round the spine, press the floor away from you. One last time, inhale, chest comes forward, shoulders back, and exhale, round the spine. Take your knees wide, big toes to touch, find your child's pose, walk your hands forward. So really walking your hands forward as far as they can go. 
Feel the length through your spine, through your arms and your shoulders. Take some nice big breaths. Now slowly walk, coming back up, we're gonna find our downward dog. So curling the toes, lift your hips up and back, and then really bend a lot through the knees here. We really wanna find length through the spine. So bending those knees a lot. Think about pressing into your fingers, and then relax the head, so looking down towards your feet. Start to walk your feet up to the top of the mat, finding your forward fold. So relax your head and neck. And then we're gonna inhale to our halfway lift, finding our flat back, hands to your shins or your thighs, draw your shoulders back, engaging that core. Neck is nice and long. And then exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, inhale to rise all the way up. Extended mountain, reach those arms high to the sky. Keep your arms nice and long here as you take a few breaths. Interlacing your fingers, let your index finger point up towards the ceiling, get even taller. And then exhale, slowly bring it over to the right. So hands come towards the right, nice big stretch along your left side. Inhale back to center and then exhale over to the left. Inhale, bring it back to center, and exhale, lower the hands, slowly hinge forward. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Sending that left leg all the way back, finding our low lunge here. So take a moment, you can keep your fingertips on the mat if that's comfortable, or you can bring your hands to your front thigh. Always the option to roll over the, corn, the side of your mat if you need some more padding for your knee. Or you can place a towel underneath as well. From here, inhale the arms up if that's okay. And then we're gonna bend at the elbows, coming into goddess arms. So think about drawing your elbows back, shoulder blades come together. Take a few breaths here. And on your exhale, elbows come together, forearms come together. Inhale, open up. Exhale, draw it together. One more time, inhale to open. Exhale, bring it back. Slowly bring your hands down to the mat. Curl the back toes, come up off your back knee. We're gonna slowly rise at finding our high lunge or crescent lunge here. So you wanna think about lengthening through your spine, reaching your arms energetically up towards the ceiling. And then option to interlace your fingers, finding that position we were in before where your index finger is pointing up towards the ceiling. Imagine you are a rocket ship, lengthening up towards space. And slowly release your hands and bring your hands down to the mat, stepping up to the top of the mat, forward fold. Relax your head and neck. Inhale to your flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, inhale, rise all the way up. Extended mountain, get a little taller this time. A few breaths, just right here, grounding down into the feet. 
as you reach your arms high to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center, forward fold. Inhale to your flat back. Exhale, fold. This time, right leg is gonna come all the way back, finding your low lunge here. So just really take your time finding what variation works for you. So maybe it feels good to have your hands on the mat. Maybe it's better with your hands to your front thigh. You're welcome to stay right here or you can reach those arms up. Whatever works for you. Take a moment here to settle into your low lunge. Pad that back knee if needed. And then we're gonna open up. So bending the elbows, finding your goddess arms, draw those elbows back, chest forward. And then exhale, elbows, forearms come together, maybe lowering the head. Inhale back, opening up. Exhale together. Inhale open. Exhale together. Last time, open up. Exhale together. Release the hands down. Um, coming up off your back knee, and then inhale, finding your crescent lunge. Getting nice and tall here. And then interlacing your fingers again, maybe taking your opposite grip. So it might feel a bit funny. And then reaching your arms a little longer. Releasing the hands, exhale, slowly lower all the way down. We're going to come back to our plank, drop the knees, and then bend the elbows, elbows tuck into the ribs, coming down to your belly. We're gonna find three cobras here. So palms beside the chest, shoulders back, elbows draw back. We're gonna inhale to lift up, no weight in the hands. Exhale, slowly roll down. Inhale to lift back up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Last time here, option to bring your arms by your side, finding your locust. So palms face down, draw your arms back behind you. Maybe even lifting the feet. So getting as long as you can, looking down towards your mat, not in front of you. One more big breath here. And exhale, lower your ear to the mat, relaxing everything. Take a few breaths as you feel your belly poofing into the mat. And bringing the opposite ear to the mat to even out the stretch on your neck. And then slowly, we're going to press our hands into the mat, finding our tabletop position once again. So hips are gonna stay stacked above the knees. And then we're gonna walk our hands forward. We're gonna find our puppy dog pose. So, Matt, so your bum is gonna stay up in the air. Imagine your tail wagging like you're a puppy dog. And then if you can, relax your forehead to the mat. So it's kind of similar to child's pose, although our hips are lifted. And then see if you can walk your hands forward a little more. Feeling the length and the stretch through the spine, through the shoulders. Take a few breaths. And 
And then slowly begin to walk your hands back towards you. Just sit back on your heels, resting your hands on your thighs. Just sitting up tall, but really relax the shoulders here. You don't have to be super rigid sitting up tall. You might not feel like your back is straight, but it likely is. Relaxing your face. Relaxing your entire upper body. Take a few breaths right here. And you're welcome to come into a restorative child's pose. So keeping the knees together this time, or maybe just slightly apart, just let your, your torso just gently rest down over your legs, relaxing your forehead to the mat, and then bringing your arms down by your sides, your feet come to, your, sorry, your hands come towards your feet. Let your arms be nice and heavy. Taking this moment to rest and restore. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice today and throughout this seven day challenge. Take your time to rest here for as long as you like, and I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.